Welcome back to another Stephen Casey video. We're about to go over a long story about what just happened. I wasted a whole day of filming, but if you guys want to hit the subscribe button, I'm building a golf course. Way to 200,000 subscribers. This is a weird story time. Trespassing was involved. Also, I don't know, a lot of other things was involved in this video, but get ready to get it unpacked, baby. Did you hear that? Yeah. Hey, you stay down here. Someone's screaming for help over there. Is that a ghost or is that a human? What do you want? Alright, today's been kind of a long day. We had a bunch of discussions about... Had a bunch of discussions about like the course and how what's been going on. We still got Howard working, but... Finally being able to put a wrap on phase one of the golf course. The stress and exhaustion that comes with a Missouri's hot summer day was starting to get to Steven. Though his day is almost over, unfortunately, what's about to happen next means his day is far from over. Alrighty. Anywho, around here, this is all going to be native grass. So it's going to be native grass, and then when you get to the tee box, it's going to be zoysia. Look at this view. You guys remember when I started this project? Right here, I would be in such thick woods that you literally could not even see. I mean, I wouldn't be able to sit around. You get to the edge, you can't see nothing, but all it takes is some money. Yeah, you can do some things, I'll tell you that. We're doing it. Anyway, I think we're gonna go to the river. I'm gonna catch some fish, fry them up on the grill. Anyway, this is just kind of an update. We had a big day today. This was probably one of the biggest ones yet. All right, this video took a weird turn of events, number one. I was just recording and updating, and the plan was I was just gonna go swim and mess around after filming my video. And I honestly wasn't able to do anything pretty much 90% of the day because of this. So I don't know if you guys saw, I didn't even do an intro because I was just recording. But what happened, we were going to the river. I was checking up on Howard to see our tee boxes and all that, make sure it was cleared, and explaining the lake that we're building. And then all of a sudden, we hear, as you guys can see, there's an actual spring, a water spring right over here. And I don't know, I don't know, it's, did you hear that? Yeah? What the heck was that? I don't know if... Shh, don't point any... I don't know if you guys can hear or... Someone screaming for help over there. What? It is a human. That's a human. This is just in case anything happens. Hey, hey, you stay down here. I don't know if you can see he's up there. Is that a ghost or is that a human? Let's go help him. Okay, he's... No, 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 no. Hey, hey, he doesn't have any clothes on, okay? I'd rather not deal with this. What do you want? What? What happened? Nope. What's the problem? What's the problem? I was like, what the heck? There's no one around me to be whistling and like there's no one around the, the 25 mile radius. So I was like, huh? So I hear that, I finished my video, like uh, whatever, it's just a YouTube thing. So then the next thing that happened was, this literally took uh, many hours. It was a very long experience and I don't know what happened still to right now, but basically what happened is our river, people float it all the time. You go, you start blah, blah, you go up and down. A lot of people get belligerent, they get drunk and all that. It's like, it, I mean, it's common. I've been down there so many times, it just happens. This time, it was very strange because people actually trespassed on where my horse track is being built, which is not okay. Number one, not okay. We get to the river and and as I'm walking up to it, I start hearing a shallow yell for help. I couldn't tell if it was man, woman, I didn't know. So I come up to the bend, I was recording, literally, you can see the clip, I was recording. Start walking up to the bend and as I look around, there's someone in the river that's clawing up the side on the left side, falling down. I don't know if they were intoxicated or whatever, but they kept screaming for help. 
So me, I was like, what's the problem before I go out and start running towards so I don't danger myself. I didn't know if there was a canoe, there was this, there's that, I had no idea. So I started screaming, asking him what the problem is. No response, just kept hearing help. That right there is kind of a red flag. What is the problem? How? Huh? What? Go get Howard. But what happened? You. Go get Howard. Come out in the open so he can see you. All right. Hey. There's so much, if there's like multiple people over there, maybe not a good idea to walk out in the front, right? What is the problem? All right, let's get the, uh, let me call the 911. Well, they're jumped up on something, I don't know. Come here. Get in, get in. There's a person down there. What's your call? What's going on down there anyway? Who's the holler? Oh, her, her old man tossing out this. We were trying to find her. And I see her walking this way and she took off in that pickup. She did? Yeah. With whoever was in it. She's yeah. gone with her old man in and that no. pick up. No, I don't know who that boy was. This is where it kind of gets weird. We just left the person. I just left them like you didn't respond. It's whatever. When I was in my car accident, if someone was on the road screaming for help, I would. I was there and I could answer. Like even though there was blood, I had a bunch of injuries. My internal everything was messed up. If there had been someone to help, of course I would respond. That's where if I scream, if you hear Stephen Quesadilla screaming, "What's the problem? Like what's wrong?" Just say, "I've been blah 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 or something happened to me." Just tell me, because then I then I'll I can help you. I'm not gonna risk whatever whatever's going on in this. I just saw one person, right? That doesn't make sense because if you're floating, there's gonna be a lot of them. That's where it just, the whole thing was just kind of weird. Started screaming for help. I was like, let's just go get Howard. Howard knows everybody around here. Uh, maybe he knows what's going on. So he was he was working still at the time. So we went up and also if I was gonna call 911, I have to be at the top of the hill because I don't get any service at the bottom. So we went up to the top. While I'm getting up to the top, I guess a black truck came onto our property, down our road, just camped out, which is this is where it doesn't make sense. For the person to figure out where our property's at is everything. you got to know the area and it just doesn't make sense how she could call and say on a eight mile stretch of river come down this exact road the coincidence of that had to be literally perfect to figure out where she is exactly at and there's no service around here so the story still does not make sense to me i'm still kind of lost we come down the hill and then that's where the black truck sees me coming and they just do a little fish tail drive away this is where it gets even weirder we walk down the hill and another man comes walking up onto our property named scott but do you don't know him. No. Do you know him, Howard? Who is this? Uh, where, where are you guys from? We're from Lebanon. What, what are you doing out here on this Oh, uh, yeah, we're floating down through. And how the truck? I don't know how that pickup got down here. This yeah. is my our property. Oh, yeah, I don't know how that pickup got here. So, her old man and her got into it right down here. I told him, I said, Josh, I said, man, calm down. I said, I understand you're drunk. I said, man, calm hey, down. Hey, hey. Here, they're yelling. Yeah, they're, they're hollering for me. I was like, calm down, guys. I was like, let's just. You know what bygones be bygones and go on home. He's she's gone. Home. She's out of the water and she's gone. Yeah, she, I it. seen her hop in that picket. Right. Okay. So man, put your clothes back on and come on back down here. The question, how how do they know this road and get on this property? That, I don't know. I don't know who that man was in that truck. I have no idea. We put him way up there at the bridge. At Windyville? Yeah, and floated down through and we're taken out down there at uh, Moon Valley. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know how someone would figure out where this lands at. Yeah, I don't know how he figured that out. Yeah, but. there's no one that knows. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, when I was floating down through here, I was like, boy, it'd be nice to own that. I'd be right here on the river. What kind of pickup was that? I, I didn't. It looked like I a Ford. It, it looked like a Ford pickup, maybe. Mm -hmm. it was maybe it. black or, blue it was or dark blue, maybe. The dark blue Where's the man that beat her? He went that way. He's, he's like, he told me, he's like, F you. And I'm like, dude, I was like, I'm supposed to be your friend. He took off up through the woods. Went that way. I tried stopping him, tried getting them both settled down. He's like, I'm gonna kill you. I said, well then kill me. Don't be beating on her. I was like, she didn't do nothing wrong to you. I said, if you wanna take it out, take it out on me. You know? 
So you guys are just floating in this all? Yeah. All right. He got real blizzard drunk. That's what happened. He got drinking the vodka real hard. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah. Yep. You know how that stupid crap Maybe is. Maybe he'll get lost off out there. I hope. Not I thought back. he was a friend of mine. What was your name? Huh? Yeah. My name's Scotty. Scott. Yeah. Last name? I don't want to give my last name. Well, you need to give your last name. For what reason? On, because you're on private property here, and there was a, a crime no. that just was committed on no. the river. No, that crime happened down there on the other side of the river. Then why was she out there in the middle of the night? I don't know. I don't know. That crime happened down there on the other side of the river. Then why was she up there I, that jumping I don't know. and naked and screaming for help? That I don't know. And saying she was beat? That I don't know. We're going down here to get home. If I know she's in a vehicle, I hope she's safe. Yeah. I mean, she's a real good friend of my, my wife, but, or I thought she was anyways. That, I've just, the story just doesn't make sense how he would figure out our yeah. exact road exactly. to get that on. That guy, I don't know. I understand that, but how did she tell him to get on our road, on our private property? Oh, I don't know that at all. That's, that's where the problem God. starts is when they get on our property. Right. Like, I don't give a about anything else that's happened, but when they come down yeah, onto our I property. Agree. You guys need to figure that out. I don't understand that at all. Okay. Hey, hey. What's up, guys? What's going on? Who are you? Uh, we're the neighbors. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We literally. <laughs> and you're the soccer player. Yeah, excuse me. And you're the, you're the mother. The player. Yeah. Okay, Marjorie. Yeah. We had to go get her. How did you tell the story? Hi. <laughs> Marjorie. Just a whole situ strange situation, but his story didn't make any sense. If I questioned him, it just it just was kind of weird. And then. So basically we get done with him. Just to clarify, we have cameras on the plate. Like I put cameras on the place. It's not just like two, three thousand dollars. I have fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, a hundred thousand dollars involved in this. So I gotta kinda watch it. You just can't come down on the place just for the heck of it because you want or whatever. I know this situation was way different, but still we have cameras. I got you on camera. I have your truck. The trail cam got you. So when we do find you, to find the horse track, it's literally in borderline impossible to figure out where I'm building this until I disclose the location and just to think if I would have a green if I would have anything being involved and they tear it up that cost me money so got everything of you got the pictures got the whole story I don't know if you're beating on someone sounds like you were but I'm gonna find you we'll get you we'll get you but just that just can't happen you know you can't come on to my place and drive your little four-wheeler drive your little motorcycle and beat up on someone like it just doesn't work like that just doesn't but anyways that's just kind of the weird story that happened didn't get much done at all i literally got borderline nothing done callaway triple track this is what i think of you but anyways that's just kind of a weird story the horse track has been trespassed people about tore it up i don't know that, that was one of the crazy stories i i know this is a little bit different but i just had to i had to share it was scary for a second like yeah I, that was a roller coaster of emotion for about three hours but i didn't get much done so i'm going to turn this into a video because i record everything because i am a youtuber at the end of the day right i'm gonna find you bud i'm gonna find you anyways i hope you guys enjoy this little story time i don't know how long this video is going to be it's just not that's not okay I, i've been there i've been in a scary position i've been beat up bloody all that and i still i, I ran it i had to explain myself so if you're on somebody's property, they ask you what you're doing, just tell them. It's just pretty simple. I hope you guys understand. I got it. It's just, anyways. That's a story time with Steve. Anyways, we'll catch you in the next one. We caught someone trespassing.